Okay, everybody. <laughs> wow, there's a lot going on on YouTube. There's a lot of content being talked about. And they are really ripping Grandis's story apart. They're chewing it up and spitting it out. They're doing a good job at it. Pointing out that she changed the narrative. That's very important because that's one of the ways, one of the few ways that this case is going to be solved is something like them finding a body or finding Summer if she happened to be, like, for example, sold. If we found something like that out. Or if somebody, the storyline breaks and they can prove that your story is false. That can close this case. That can, that can solve this case. And uh, another way would be that somebody came forward and told, confessed, or told what they knew or what they heard. Information needs to come forward. Law enforcement needs to hear whatever anybody knows or even just heard, even if you think it might have been a rumor. If you heard it in real life, I'm not talking about on social media, no. The sheriff has asked social media to not make reports, not call in tips and reports, unless it was like factual, real life stuff. And he mentioned something about people from out of state causing, maybe causing a disruption in the case. So, I mean, that's not helpful to law enforcement to call in a lot of tips from that you hear on social media, even though you might be so tempted to. And I think that we need to try to help make law enforcement's job a little bit easier and not give them such a heavy workload. If there's something being said or happening on social media that law enforcement needs to know uh, about, I'm sure they have their people who are monitoring each platform and really staying on top of things and they probably already know and think about it when you hear something and you feel like you want to call in that a tip because that could be a possibility a new scenario or something you might have heard on another channel maybe you heard it in a chat somewhere and think about how many other people called in that same thing and uh, it might be bogging down the case in some ways. It might be slowing them down, calling people calling in too many tips from social media. And I haven't called in any because I'm usually one of the last ones to know things with, you know, with my schedule. And I don't have... Uh, I don't have any ties with anybody in Tennessee. I don't know anybody in the state personally. Although I feel like I know the whole Wells family, but I don't. And I have to keep reminding myself of that, that I don't know that family. I mean, we can look at their character I'm playing with a gemstone, if y'all are wondering what I'm doing, sitting here messing with it. it. It just helps, it helps me feel better to hold some of my gemstones 
they hold energy. They hold a certain energy. Each one is different. And they can be calming. And even if it's just in your mind, if you believe it, if you believe that it helps, then it helps. And I believe it helps. And another thing I do that really helps in so many ways is the Wim Hof method. I have talked about this method on this platform a lot of times because I do practice the Wim Hof method for medical reasons. But I also use this method for other reasons. There are so many reasons to use this. This man, this man right here has helped me so much through my grief from the loss of my daughter, through a lot of the up pain that comes along with medical conditions, anxiety, I apologize about the house phone. We have a maintenance, a maintenance guy coming and you have to call in at the gate. That phone usually does not ring often, but I use this method and it's very helpful to me. So I thought I would pass this along to you. This is a hardback book that I got for Christmas from Hobby because he knows I, how much I'm into this. And I don't want to put my reading glasses on on camera. I hate them. So I'm not really going to read to you the contents like I wanted to. But this is a hardback book, of course you can see that. But I also have the book, the ebook on Amazon that I got from Amazon. And it's on Amazon. It's on Kindle. It's an app on my phone. I can pull this book up on my phone anytime. And um, Wim Hof is also on YouTube and he, there's tons of videos on there of him and the video that he did with the Yes Theory is my favorite, all time favorite video of his and he has some videos on there that show his breathing techniques and how he does it and he explains how it works. Not just breathing techniques, but he combines breathing techniques Sorry, the maintenance people just got here. Um, he combines the breathing techniques together with cold therapy and heat therapy. And if you follow this technique, it can bring to you a whole lot of health benefits. And it can help you cope if you're having trouble coping with whatever problems, uh, anxiety, stress, pain, uh, even autoimmune disorders, mental health issues. I mean, this man, this technique covers so many things. A lot of people wait until they're sick and then they want to 
hurry up and try the Wim Hof method. Don't wait till you're already sick. You can prevent yourself from becoming sick by following this method. And this method, you're not going to believe all of the benefits that you'll get from this method. Well, if you go find him on YouTube, if you if you do go look him up, if you do, and you check him out, really check him out, come back and leave me a comment on this video and tell me if you try, if you have started trying his method, let me know that you started trying it. I'd like to know that. I'd like to know who else is doing this with me. Because right now, I'm the, me and my oldest son are the only two people that I know in my real life that are doing this method. And it's very beneficial. I promise you, you won't regret it. I'm the one who actually introduced it to my son. And he does it every day faithfully ever since. Ever since. He loves the effects that he gets. He loves the benefits that he gets from this method so much that he has not missed a day. And he does it more than once a day. He does it as many times a day as he can do it. Anytime he has the time to do this method, he does it. And you just would not believe how calm he is. He's so laid back, he's so relaxed. Even in one of the most tense situations, he will be the calmest person in the room if tragedy strikes. I mean, this boy is, he's tough. He's tough because you, this, this right here, this method right here, this makes you tough. This makes you tough. It helps you. It helps bring out the strength that is within you. You have a lot of strength that you don't know you have. And I've been working on that. Uh, I, I love the book, uh, the hardback book, when I'm just sitting around in the living room, which is, this is my living room. Um, I like to curl up sometimes with my little heated throw blanket in my book. This is the book I go to. Everybody has their favorite book they go to. And this is mine. I have to share my buddy now. I have to share. Because he has done so much for me and my son and my life. I can't help it. I want to share it with y'all. I'm not... Uh, pet, uh, what do you call it? Paid to advertise him in any way. I would, I have never even met him in person. I have a long term goal. It's a long term goal because it's going to be so expensive. But I want to go to his. Uh, it's like a camp where you go. It's a place where you can go and you can actually work with him as part of a group. Not the big room where they do it. Not the one with the just one big room. Not that place. Like the house. It's a place that looks like a big house. And he does, he teaches people this method and works with a smaller group at this house where he does it. And if you start watching the videos, you'll see what I'm talking about. But it's, it's really expensive to go there. So that it's going to be a while before I will actually get to go there. I'm, I'm distracted by the, the maintenance people walking around. I apologize for that. I didn't realize that I was timing my video at the same time they were scheduled to be here. But anyways, uh, 
I just wanted to throw out there some ways of coping. Um, and that's one of the things that I'm doing that helps me the most with any kind of stress. If you're getting frustrated, you're getting burnt out, you're getting burned out on your job, you're, you're suffering with health conditions, you're upset for any reason, any reason. And if you have depression or anxiety, Wim Hof Method is for you. It's for everybody. Everybody needs to know this method. And everybody needs to be doing it. I've actually sat down with my mom and showed her some of his videos. And I did the breathing technique with her. And I taught my mom about this method. And she forgets. She gets off track and she forgets about it. And she quits doing it for a while. And then I'll remind her, and then she'll go back to doing it. But she agrees that it does make her feel better, too. And she has a lot of health problems. They're talking about um, my deck. <laughs> I apologize. One second. I'll be right back. I apologize. I misunderstood. And I'm glad. I thought I heard that there was a new problem that I didn't know about. And I was wrong. Everything's good. And I apologize for having to get up and leave you for a minute. I can't just pause the video and come back because I don't edit. I don't have any of those editing apps because um, this is a Nature Videos channel originally. And so I never really needed any apps for editing and I never planned on doing any true crime coverage or things where I would need to edit. So that never was really an issue and I never expected Summer's case to last so long or else I would have invested in some apps in the beginning. And I haven't so far yet, even still, I haven't done that because uh, I, didn't, I don't think it's going to last much longer. I really don't think this case is going to last much longer at all. I think it, we, I've said it before that we are, I believe, at the beginning of the end of this case. It's about to be solved. I really do believe that. And if it's not like really super soon, it's coming. It's going to be this year. This is our year. This is the year where it's going to happen. And hopefully with Rose Bly's case too. And hopefully with some other cases out there that I've been following. But I've been following as in watching YouTube videos about and just kind of following their case on YouTube as far as watching videos, not covering. And speaking of covering videos, um, it's starting to look like everybody else is doing such a wonderful job at covering Summer's case and 
since I don't do all that, like, fancy editing and I'm really not good with live streams and I'm not really well known on YouTube because I've had a low profile channel of nature videos that didn't really gain a whole lot of attention and um but I enjoy it very much. I love my nature videos channel and if nobody else in the whole world likes it at least I do and I love it and I watch my own channel. I know that might sound crazy to y'all but I do. I love my nature videos so much that I watch my own videos. That's one of the reasons why I do nature videos is so that if something happens and I can't be out in nature, I can still be out in nature just by watching TV, watching my videos, where I've been, places I've been, places I've hiked to. Another long-term goal I have is to hike the, do a through hike through the Appalachian Trail. I know y'all think I'm crazy, but we are section hikers of the Appalachian Trail. And as soon as the weather breaks, and it looks like it is, I've got flowers blooming outside. It's beautiful. Sun's so bright. That's why I'm in here so much lately is because that sunroom is so bright that if I put that camera facing out there, it will blind y'all to death. Y'all be so mad at me. Y'all quit watching because you can't see nothing for the sun. But back to coping. There's, you know, we have to take care of ourselves. And um, I'm thinking that maybe my channel has run out of steam. And maybe that just means that my work here is done. I've had some people to leave me some comments. They want me to stop covering Summer's case. I'm not good at it. And that's what I've been told. And that I should go back to my nature videos because I'm not good at this. And maybe that's true. And, you know, it's hurtful to hear something like that after you've been so dedicated and so loyal and had the best of intentions at heart. And you've always done nothing but try to lift up others and to be a voice. I've been a voice for a little girl who no longer has her own voice. And I don't regret anything. I don't regret anything I've said on my channel about Summer's case because I am human. I look and I see content out there and I have emotions about it. And it affects me personally sometimes because I'm human. And it's not just me, it's people from all around the world that this little girl has touched in a certain way, a special way. And that, that's okay. That just means that we have a, a good heart, our heart's in the right place. And, you know, but, and to and continue, I want everybody out there to certainly continue to cover Summer's case because you're really, you're doing a wonderful job. And I hope everybody continues. I don't want y'all to be hearing those maintenance people out there. They're so distracting and I apologize. My point is that, you know, maybe I should just leave that up to everybody else because like I said you know and my views have dropped even though my subscriber count hasn't dropped it's actually still going up a little bit and uh, I, I still have to look at the fact that the views have dropped and they've stayed down pretty low and 
and it's really confusing because, you know, when you don't know why people stop watching your channel, it's, uh, it's confusing when you don't know why. I mean, I, I thought maybe it was people getting tired of the wildlife. Maybe people were tired of the sun being in their faces. I know it was hard for me a lot of times to sit there and do videos with the camera facing outside because the sun would be right in my eyes and it was hard for me to do the videos. So I, I figured, you know, that might have been a problem. So I switched up and I started doing my videos in different areas and that didn't really help. <laughs> it's not the area. I've narrowed it down to that. And so I really, the only other things I can think of is there's other people that are doing a good job that are covering and they don't really need. Maybe they're doing kind of like I have. I have narrowed it down to uh, several people, several channels, but I only watch those channels. I've tried to uh, limit myself on the people the amount of channels that I watch. And so I do miss out on hearing some information because I'm not, I'm not there. I'm only on certain channels and at certain times and not all the time. I go to, uh, I like pick a couple every day and I watch a couple of their videos every day. And if I can, every chance I get. And I also watch other um, cases too. It's a hot, they're all hot topics right now. Uh, but I'm thinking that, you know, maybe I'm not needed here so much. I think in the beginning I was because I had a lot of views and they were very consistent. And now I feel like pretty much everybody's done gotten the point. They know where I stand. They know what my thoughts are and I, I'm stuck there. And some people disagree with the way I feel, but I've always been honest with y'all. I've always told y'all that I would always be honest. And even if that costs me, uh, viewers or if it costs me subscribers i hate it for that to happen but i have to be honest because that's the right thing to do even if i'm wrong i want to be honest and i think that when we look at somebody and we think that they're doing something wrong you know we just we have to look at intent you, do you really know what somebody's real, true intent is behind whatever they're doing? And if you look at the intentions, my intentions, behind everything that I have said pertaining to the Summerwells case, my intentions have been 100% pure and honest. Even if I may have changed along the way, changed my mind about what I thought might have happened in a certain scenario, I still have had the best of intentions of keeping my intentions were always about raising awareness about summer keeping Summer's name circulating and to continue talking about Summer so that her case didn't go cold. I was so afraid that that case would go cold and I didn't see anybody in her circle in real life standing up for her, fighting for her, being her voice, pointing out discrepancies in people's statements and in people's stories and pointing out discrepancies in the timeline. 
and time gaps, holes in the timeline, suspicious behavior from the parents and other other people too in the case, in real life case, the people that are technically on the table. And we have to remember too that the sheriff said that everything is still on the table. And that means that nobody has been cleared in this case. Even though y'all know how I feel. Y'all know that I believe that Candace and Grandest absolutely do know what happened this summer. Or she, they know exactly. And I believe they're responsible. And I'm up in the air sometimes about Don, even though I know Don's done a lot of bad things. So, and I know he does have guilty knowledge about Summer. Yes, he does. But does Don know the full truth? That's what I'm up in the air about. Does Don understand what really honestly happened that day on Summer's last day? Because I have a feeling that if Hunter was there, with Candace. And we know he was. We have video, there's videos that suggest that he was, that he says he was, Candace said he was. So he's, he's on the table. Okay, we have Hunter, we have Allie, We yeah. have Jody Sue, Andy. Of course, Candace, Don, and Brandis. And I don't know if law enforcement does, but I'm going to count the three boys. We have all the neighbors. My point being is there's a lot of people on the table. This is a big table. There's a lot of people on the table and there's a lot of evidence on the table. And we can pick and choose which thing on the table that we want to focus on and we want to talk about it but most you most youtube creators are doing it to raise awareness to point things out to you and to show you what they see and trust me they see a lot they ain't nothing much getting past these YouTube creators, they are doing a wonderful job at breaking down this latest interview with Grandis. And they have those apps to where they can show you things as they're talking about it. And I think that's one of the things that people like so much that they would prefer channels like theirs rather than mine because I'm just sitting here and I don't have anything to show you. I can just talk to you about what I've seen and heard. And in my mind, most of the time, I'm thinking that you have already seen and heard the same thing that I'm talking about. And so you already have seen what I'm talking about. But it would be nicer to be able to have it up on the screen to put things up here and show you as I'm talking about it a lot of times. But sometimes I just don't feel that it's really necessary if you just have things you want to say. And But then there's times where, you know, it would be helpful to have something to show you. And if I knew that I was going to be here for a while, I would invest in some apps and improve my channel. But that would and buy some more tools to enhance my channel. But, I mean, there's... I see that my channel is pretty much slowly dying. 
and it just suggests pretty much to me that my work here may be done. That my my work, even though I feel like I've done a wonderful job at covering Summer's case, my work here just may be done. There may be nothing else that I can do here to help Summer or to help Summer's case. Even if I didn't help at all in Summer's case, my intentions were pure and in my heart, that's what I intended to do was to help. I never had any bad intentions whatsoever. And so, I mean, people like what they like and I like those other channels too. So I don't blame other people for liking the other channels and preferring other channels over this one, or you know, especially on a certain topic. And that's really fine. I don't, I don't blame them. I mean, I have my own channel and I watch other people's because <laughs> I like theirs too. So I mean, but I still want to continue doing videos. I just don't know how much longer I'll be doing summer videos. And so we'll just have to wait and see about that. If my channel starts to improve, then I'll possibly, I'll probably continue on. But if it continues on a downward spiral, I'm gonna have to do something different because I don't want my channel to completely die. And because nobody is interested in my content, I can't, I can't, you know, even help Summer if I don't have a platform, if I don't have anybody watching, if I don't have anybody listening. I mean, I would just be sitting here talking to myself eventually. And I can't let that happen. I have to, I have to save the life of my channel. And, but I don't, I don't want to give up on summer. I have been a part of Team Summer for several months. And I have worked tirelessly on this case. And I have lost a lot of sleep. Uh, there's been days where I couldn't eat. I've had good days where I've been positive about it. I've I've been encouraging to y'all, try to give y'all positive thoughts and positive energy and positive vibes, positive outlooks, ways to look at things in a more positive light. But right now, I don't see a lot of positivity in this case. I think we've run out, we ran out of that a while back. Now everything is so dark and secretive and everything appears to be shady and depressing. And it just shows us that we're headed to a dark place. When we find, when we finally hear the news about summer, it's, I, I really believe it's going to be some really, really bad news. So we all just need to be taking care of ourselves and we need to do things that will reduce stress like all y'all angry people out there and being mean to YouTubers that are trying to help. Maybe y'all need this, this right here. All those bitter people that are so mean to people who are doing nothing but sitting there trying to help anybody who jumps on somebody else's channel and is mean to them and rude to them, shame on you. Just shame on you. If I was sitting here doing something, advertising something nasty, talking about something nasty, talking about something inappropriate. Uh, I, I could understand you being mean to me. If I was on here doing something that I should not be doing, 
But I am absolutely doing something that I absolutely should have been doing because I feel like I was called to Summer's case for a reason. And at that time, there wasn't as many creators out there as there are now covering Summer's case. I learned, and I've said it before a bunch of times, because I'll never forget where I first learned about Summer Wells, and that was on Evil Exist channel. I was watching another video. I'm a YouTube, more of a YouTube watcher, and I've always been more of a YouTube watcher than creator. And so I was watching a video it had nothing to do with children, missing children or anything like that. And the next video up just happened to be Evil Exists, talking about Summer Wells. And I had never heard of her. And so, I, you know, I was like the first couple videos, I was, it was just raising awareness. I was becoming aware. He was raising awareness about Summer to me and to many others. And that's what YouTube does when you... When you sit here and you talk about a missing child, even if I'm doing nothing but saying her name over and over and over because I have nothing else to talk about, at least I'm keeping her name out there and I'm raising awareness. If somebody, if my, if my video happens to come up next in somebody's feed that they've never heard of me and they happen to see me sitting here talking about Summer, saying Summer's name, then they might just do a, a search and find out who is this girl that she's talking about. It's still raising awareness. I've been raising awareness ever since Evil Exists raised aware, awareness to me. If it had not been for Evil Exists channel, I wouldn't be here today talking to y'all. Because the more I saw the more I felt like I was being led to this case for a reason. I've never felt drawn to any other case this much, as much as, as far as to use my channel. I just felt so strongly that Summer needed a voice and she needed, a, she needs voices all over the world and she has them all over the world now there's people in so many different countries countries that i've never even heard of that know summer now and i'm i'm so happy about that because it proves it, it proves that social media platforms they do work as far as raising awareness about missing children, it's one of the best tools out there. As long as everybody is being honest and giving out honest content based on the truth. And I, I do many videos sometimes. And uh, sometimes I have a little bit of a sense of humor. I might have a witty sense of humor, but I might have a little bit of sense of humor in some of my little mini videos that I do. But people seem to like them, and people that know me, they understand that I'm not laughing. I never laugh at this case. I do. Yes, I do. I laugh at this case sometimes because it's just so hard to believe. And we're going to hear more. That's even harder to believe before it's over. We haven't heard the worst of it yet. It's the worst. The worst of it is yet to come. But it is coming. So, y'all might be seeing less of me. I don't know. I'm feeling like y'all might be seeing less of me. If my channel, you know, the way my channel's suffered so much when there's something big big movements happening then you know i'm gonna be here for that 
when there's big, like, breaking news or just something big happening. If another search, if I hear of another search, if I hear of anybody being taken downtown for questioning or if anybody being arrested, if I hear any, any news news, then definitely I'll be here talking about it, about it. So it's not like I'm sitting here telling you that I'm going to give up on summer, but I just don't think that very many people are interested in what I have to say about summer's case anymore. And it's just probably that, like I said, that everybody else is doing such a good job at covering it. They're probably already saying what I'm saying. They probably already said what I'm saying. That's what I meant to say. And, you know, they're doing a wonderful job. And I watch them, too. Don't get me wrong. I watch them, too. A lot of them. I like a lot of them. I like some of my, some of my favorites are... You know, not really live streams. I really don't like a lot of live streams. I like videos better. The live streams, to me, when people go up on panel, sometimes it seems like the other people might kind of take over your channel a little bit and talk too much and... They get to arguing a lot. With, they argue with people in the chat. And um, it just, it can get annoying at times. Not that everybody's lives are annoying. I'm not saying that at all. It's just that I prefer, my preference is just videos. That's all. I just prefer videos over live streams. So, I'm not really big into doing the live streams. That's where I'm going with this. <laughs> I can't get it out. I'm going, what I mean is, I'm really not a live stream person as far as me doing live streams. I don't want to be sitting here arguing with somebody in the chat. I don't want to be blocking people because I'm more about attracting people and being kind to people and I expect people to be kind to me and this is not a kind world and when you put yourself into a live stream you're opening yourself up to the world is just and they're so full of anger and bitter like that elderly lady that's been so critical of me and my content I don't even know what her name is. That's how unimportant she is. I have, uh, I've blocked, not blocked, but I've, I clicked on hide user from channel. I hope I never see her again. She has dark brown old lady curls. I don't know what to call them, what kind of hairdo that is. Big curls, short hair and curl, big curls. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. But she's been very critical of me in my comment section. And I've considered clicking on hide user from channel a while back. But I try not to. I try to give people as many chances as I can. But she finally caught me on a day where she could find the nerve that she hadn't touched before. Apparently, because she touched a nerve with me. I think it was yesterday or the day before. Little Miss Know-It-All got the boot. And I don't like to do that. I don't like to have to do that. But the world is full of some evil, mean people. That lady is so bitter. I would hate... I hope she's not married. I do. I hope she's not married. Because her husband has to be the most miserable husband to, if he, if there's a man that has to live with that woman, I feel sorry for him. She is a bitter, a mean, and cold-hearted, bitter lady. She's not worried about Summer. She don't want Summer to be found. She wants people to stop talking about Summer. And she is Team Wells. She's Team Candace and Team Dawn, not Team Summer. Anybody who tries to stop me 
from, or anybody else for that matter, anybody who tries to stop anybody from talking about summer, that's bad. Those are Don and Candace cheerleaders. And they don't care about summer. If they want you to stop talking about summer, then they don't care about summer. For some reason, Don and Candace have their fans. They have their cheerleaders. And I don't know why. Because I don't see a reason to even... Mm -mm. No. And I think eventually everybody's going to see those fans of Candace's. She's got quite a following over there on her channel. I don't know why, y'all. I don't know. People just don't see what I see. And we don't always, we don't see things, we don't all see things in the same light. And the not knowing is what's causing this. We don't know. None of us know. We're just all guessing, pretty much. We're going by, well, most of us are going by what we see. And if we're going by what we see with Candace, oh my goodness, that's exactly why I feel the way I do. Because of what I see. What I see her doing on YouTube. What I've seen Don do on YouTube. 